Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon sa mga nakikinig dito at nanonood ng aking video. Okay, so you, you're seeing a slide here that asks why take physics. And of course, why not? No? So here is the problem that the Philippines need. We need more than 189 scientists per million. The ideal ratio, 130 million per million of population is almost uh, unattainable ng Philippine population which is only a few. And uh, the more scientists we have in the Philippines who are doing research, the better. Okay, so mag-intro muna tayo. Our topic for today, still a continuation of the understanding of electric forces and fields, General Physics 2 third quarter for Senior High School Specialization subject. And, ano mga dapat nyong malaman <coughs> pag napanood yun tong video na to? Okay, tapos na tayo number 1, sa number 2, we're done with number 3, number 4 na lang. Calculate the electric field due to a system of point charges using Coulomb's law and the superposition principle. We start with a quote. Some men give up their dreams when they have almost reached the goal, while others, on the contrary, obtain a victory by exerting more vigorous efforts than ever before at the last moment. Herodotus So we're going to solve this again, graphically and analytically. And we're going to use the third, third configuration, which requires four charges, placed on a square grid, alternating the positive and negative. And of course, on distance from each other's side is one meter. We label that A, B, C, D, our purpose is to determine the electric field at a specific point. In this case, point A. Which means that whatever the electric field that is generated by B, C, and D will be, will sum up on A. And the summing up of this electric field generated by individual point charges is usually referred to as the superposition principle. Okay, for this distance, R12 or 21, this is the general direction of the electric field. For a 3 to 1 charge, okay, this is the general direction of the field, and this one that is the general direction of the field. Notice that uh, the blue one, the blue arrows, are for attractive symbol, coloring, and the red for repulsive. So we label the blue one, the first one E21, second one E31, and the third E41. If you're going to observe, uh, we're going to solve this visually, you'll notice that the these two charges, uh, two, not two charges, but two fields, generate this sum of electric field, which really we call it E21 plus E41. And uh, for the visual purposes, it's quite clear that this one is greater than this, and it's opposing. Therefore, the final resultant electric field will probably follow the direction of this blue, which is about 45 degrees. Okay, so we highlight the different values needed to solve for the individual electric fields. For E21, that's the formula. E31, 
and e4 1 what we're going to do now is we're going to substitute these values so arranging them a little bit more we emphasize that this is absolute value so we disregard anymore the positive or the negative sign because they are already incorporated in the choice of the direction of the field now if you're wondering this is 90 degrees because this one is perpendicular so 90 degrees it's 1225 uh, because uh, from 0 degrees to the final direction of the red arrow which is e31 it is 225 Okay, 180 plus this downward is 45 making it 225 and of course e41 this is it that angle is 0 degrees okay, so after plugging in the values we now have the values computed at 9 times 10 to the 9 4.5 times 10 to the 9 and 9 times 10 to the 9 Notice the values that I use are really simple. Now this is square root of 2 because this distance is square root of 2 based on the uh, on the diagonal of a rectangle of side 1. Okay, these are the needed information for tabulation. So, we first write the electric fields compute for the individual x and y components okay uh, tabulated vertically here substituting the values for cosine and sine of the angles and whatever answer we have we sum them up okay notice that we did not anymore include this one the exponent because they're all the same anyway so we just manipulate the number to make the solution slightly faster and easier. Okay, so the final answer using the Pythagorean theorem is 8.2 times 10 to the 9 Newton per coulomb. That's the magnitude. Direction is already ascertained earlier to be 45 degrees. Final answer, 5.8 times 10 to the 9 Newton per coulomb at 45 degrees. Change the location of the test charge to point B. If we change the direction, this time, uh, we change the direction as well of the fields because our focus now is at point B, generated by Q1, Q4, and Q3. Okay, this one going the other side, the other one. Notice that the direction of the arrow appears to have been changed long, but the general appearance of the uh, vectors are very similar to the first one, the point A, except that it appears to have been tilted 90 degrees. And the values that we can get are the following. Now. For this one, 0. For this one, 135. 90 plus 45. And of course, this one pointing downward is 270. Okay, we have plugged the values earlier, which is the same anyway, and we tabulate that once more. Notice that the angles, the angles matter too much in the computation of the values here, and so we come up with the same set of numbers as we said earlier, but all you have to do now is not it's not really the answer that you're after all but how it is done that's what is important you have a negative 5.82 here and this one's 5.82 however if you notice that the formula squares that value so the negative sign really doesn't matter too much for the final answer you have 8.2 times into the 9 this direction then only tells you where it is going now based on the visual analysis earlier again these two uh, field vectors tend to produce a greater sum than this one 
so therefore the general direction uh, is followed by this downward direction of 45 degrees for your final answer 5.8 times 10 to the 9 newton per coulomb at negative 45 degrees okay if you follow that you can rewind this video and in order for you to try to solve point C or D on a piece of paper or graphing paper that can easily be solved we will discuss the concept of electric field next time I hope you have understood this one and this is your Pinoy physics teacher okay so Goodbye for now.